Hello boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video. My name is Phil and in this tutorial series about canvas I'm going to show you how to create dynamically objects into your canvas with arrays and for loops. Really simple to do. Have fun watching the video right now and let's go. So as you can see right now, I created one circle of the circle class and it only of course creates one circle. And we want to do this, of course, automatically. And what we need to do first, we need to say variable, um, let's call this all circles, is equal to an empty array. First things first. And now we're going to create a for loop to create all the elements. So we're going to say for, let's say, not int, um, variable i is equal to zero. And as long as zero is smaller than Let's start with 10, 10. We're gonna uh, increase this variable. And what we do is we're gonna create a variable. Um, we call this my circle. And we're gonna say all circles dot push. And push will put an element on the last position. So because it's empty, the last position and the next position will be zero in my case. And of course, we need to do to draw this function. So what we need is we need to this draw function. Um, we need to um, draw this by. Uh, what you need right now is we need to update this update function here for us for ourselves. And what we need is we're gonna say um, uh, let's say all circles dot for each. We do, gotta do for each loop. And we're gonna say elements for the elements. We're gonna do something. Um, we're gonna create oh, wrong brackets. So now we're gonna just say element dot update. Okay, element dot update. Element here. Sorry, element dot update. And now as you can see, there is um, just one. So as you can see, you will only see one circle, and that's because they have all the same x and y positions, and they are all behind. So there are all 10 circles behind. To change this, you only need to get some random X and Y variables. And what we need to do is really simple. We need to just to create a function that is like a cube function that gets a random number between a minimum value and a maximum value. So we're gonna say random number. And we're gonna say minimum. Or let's just say min and max. Oh, of course, we need to say is equal to function. And of course, we're going to put in here um, variable result is equal to math.random. And we need to multiply this with the maximum, I guess. Yeah, maximum minus minimum. And this whole thing, we need to subtract the minimum again. All right, and of course, we need to result, uh, return the result of course, otherwise it's an error. Okay, and what we get here now is you're gonna say random number um, between 50 because 50 is the radius and the other number is something like window width um, and again, minus the radius, okay. And what we do next is we do the same for the epsilon value and that's simple to do to change the width with the height okay and now we need to replace this coordinates um, yeah just maybe just keep the radius here so we can declare better here so radius 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 oh all right and of course we made a little mistake here we need to set the brackets here and now as you can see oh there's an error of course, we need to do plus minimum at the end. So now it should work. All right, it should work here right now. Let's make the circles a little bit bigger. Uh, let's give it a radius of 200. And as you can see, no single circle is stuck into the corners here right now. I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more. And uh, of course, I will do more and more canvas tutorials and JavaScript canvas tutorials. In the next tutorial, we're going to show more about collision detection and I'm going to show you how to move your objects and circles with using your keyboard and 
some random keys, give me thumbs up, bye.